Oh crap. And he's coming apart again. Oh, some battery out first. Of course she unplugged. Maybe I can get you a little bit closer here. I'm gonna need a knife. But yes, surprisingly, this is an incredibly simple laptop to take apart. I remember I once had to return it to the factory because of bad memory. It was still under warranty. It cost me like 90 bucks to ship it back there. When uh, I probably should have just spent 90 bucks on RAM and fixed it myself because it's so fucking easy. Three, four, five screws in the back. Nothing, nothing special. Once you have that open, it pretty much gives you access to everything. Like most laptops, you'll have like a single panel for each thing. This actually has just one big ass panel, and you can access CPU, uh, RAM, hard drives, which this does have two hard drives, so it's a little bit fancier than most. It does have a little thumb thing right there you can pick up on. But I found just doing that was not enough. So using a fairly dull Swiss Army knife, just kind of went around trying to find other places I could lift up on it. Get those clips out. And not a single scratch. And just so you know, this is my personal computer. I'm not like disassembling it for freaking parts or whatever those idiots on YouTube do that just freaking toss these things into bins once they get the, the parts out. I'm not doing that. So, the uh, case is off. You can see all the beautiful insides. That's where my SATA drive is. Or my SSD, I should say. And uh, that's why I'm yanking out, because I'm putting the old drivers back in. I am sick of this fucking thing. Well, I'm not sick of it. I'm sick of having the secondary, which came out of a external hard drive. And it's just bogging the system down. Now I'm going to go back to a RAID 0 setup to 500 gig hard drives, which seems just as fast, if not faster. It doesn't have that kind of clunkiness where if you have one fast SSD and then one slow uh, SATA 2 drive that you notice sometimes. A RAID, it doesn't copy as fast, doesn't boot as fast, but kind of everything on it is just reliable and it works. That top screw is the only one you need to remove. You might want to label these if you're, uh, you know, going to use them later. Oh, there's a little clip here, a little flap, flappy flap. Pull on that. There's my one terabyte slow stink. It's probably like 520, 100 RPM or something stupid like that. Pull that little spacer out on the other one, and then I should get access to the little plastic clip here. And and I can just make this drive out. Okay. So, there you have it. I just have to transfer these metal brackets to the new drives, or the old drives, I should say, and put them back in there. Set the uh, drive config configuration to RAID. Anyways, that's what a MSI GT683R looks like from the uh, inside. So it's RAM, CPU, CPU fans, uh, heat sinks, and uh, you know where your drives go there. So, you know, that's pretty cool that they just kind of put one panel on the thing and then you get access to everything. You could definitely mod this thing. You can mod it out quite a bit. Now, I mentioned this before when I marked these top and bottom before I remove them. Because in a RAID setup, I'm pretty sure it's kind of vital that your drives go back in the same order they came out in. This is RAID 0, it's not RAID 10 or anything crazy. Quickness and... If one drive fails, they both fail, but I'm taking that risk, because that's how I roll. Alright, brackets on. Okay, so it's supposed to go in that way. Oh no, I got it right. Okay. So one drive faces up, and the other one faces down. That's interesting. So we'll just pop this in there. Again, one screw in the top, and then we'll put the case back on. Cross your fingers, and it boots. So we want to get this thing back running. Uh, right now it's just set to boot normally, not on RAID. So you want to get it back on RAID ASAP. So that's under SATA mode IDE. You want to set that back to RAID. That's it. Save changes, exit, yes. And then if this boots, we are fin. Finny. 
done. So it looks like it detected. Oh, maybe it didn't. You better be showing up here, buddy. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yep, there you go. So it's these windows, and she's booting. So thanks for watching, everybody, and that was my MSI GT683, I guess, disassembly and reassembly. So if you want to know how to take it apart, it's that freaking easy. Cheers.